and welcome to Free Piano Lessons for Kids. I'm Mr. Hoffman and I'm excited that you're back for piano lesson number two. You should have already done piano lesson number one, which was to learn hot cross buns. And today we are going to learn about the musical alphabet. Now I know you're thinking, I already know the alphabet, but the thing is about music, it has its own alphabet. Relax, it's a lot easier than the one you already know. So you're going to be great at it. So I'm going to use some cards today with letters on them. You might want to pause and prepare some cards that have uh, the first seven letters of the alphabet uh, before we go on. And when you're ready, you can join me down here on the floor. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab the camera and uh, come down here to show you how the music alphabet works. So I hope you don't get dizzy as I move you around here. Okay, I'm going to point you down to see the letters. You can see my beautiful carpet in the meantime. Okay, so the first letter of the musical alphabet, uh, just like you're familiar with, is A. And then we'll just go in order here. You can, I'm sure, tell what's going to happen here. And with your own cards, why don't you practice putting these in order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now here is where music takes a turn different from what you're used to. After G, the next letter is not, I repeat, not H. In music, once you get to the letter G, the next letter is A again. It starts over. Okay, so you might actually want to have a couple of sets here. So after A, you're just going to keep going B, C, D, E, F, G. Remind me what comes after G? If you said H, you're wrong. If you said A, you are right. It keeps on going with A again. And it can just keep on going forever this way. Okay, so practice uh, saying the musical alphabet with me. No, let's make it even more fun. Let's sing. Let's sing the musical alphabet song. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It just goes over and over again. Now, if you wanted to say H ever, that's totally normal. Just remind yourself, in music, there is no H. After G comes A. Got it? After G comes A. Just repeat after me. Okay, now there's some fun things you can try uh, to practice the musical alphabet at home. First thing I want you to be able to do is just say the musical alphabet forwards and get used to going from G to A. Then another thing you can do with your cards and that you should practice is starting on letters other than A. The thing about music is you can start on any note of the piano and so you actually need to get comfortable being able to do the alphabet forwards or even backwards starting on any letter. So let me demonstrate with my cards how you would do this at home. Again, if you want to print out some cards with instructions for this game, you can just go to www freepianolessonsforkids.com. So uh, let me show you some of the games we do. So let's take the letter C, for example. And what I want you to do is take the letter C and mix up all of your other cards. Okay, and then see how quickly you can put them in order starting with the letter C. Okay, I'll do it with you here. You try it at home. So after C, Think of the alphabet, the next letter is going to be a D, and then it goes E. So you're just always thinking of the alphabet in order. When you get to G, what's going to come next? That's right, A comes next, and then B. So this here is the musical alphabet starting on the letter C. Why don't you say it with me? C, D, E, F, G, a, B. Right. Okay, let's try another one. 
why don't you try starting on the letter E this time. So take away all the other cards, just leave the letter E, mix them up, and try to put them in order starting on E. Ready? Here, I'll do it with you. E. Okay, is that what you got too? I have E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Now, when you're driving around in the car this week with your mom or dad, what I want you to do and what I want you to practice is saying the musical alphabet forward starting on any letter. We're going to practice it right now. And when we're doing it, I want you to try to say it exactly with me, not before and not after. So if you're doing it right after, then you're kind of cheating by listening to what I'm saying and then figuring it out. So try to stay right in time with me and say it exactly together. We're going to say the musical alphabet going forward starting on the letter D until I say stop. See if you can say it exactly with me. Every time I snap, say the next letter. Here we go. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, stop. Good. Now let's try it going forward, starting on the letter F. Every time I snap, say a letter. Okay, ready? Here we go. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Great. Again, try this when you're driving around, over the breakfast table, when you're falling asleep at night, practice this. Get really good at the musical alphabet. You'll be very glad in later lessons. Okay, now, when you get good at that, the next level is trying it backwards. This is very tricky at first. It might take some practice. Let's try it right now, starting on the letter G and go backwards through the alphabet. The reason this is important to be able to do is in music, if the notes are going lower and lower, you're actually going backwards in the alphabet. So you need to be able to do the alphabet forwards or backwards in music. Here we go, we're gonna start on the letter G. Ready? G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, stop. That's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, you're gonna to need to practice that one. But that's great, practice is a part of becoming a good piano player. And uh, it's a lot of fun too. So practice going both forwards and backwards through the musical alphabet. Have lots of fun and can't wait to see you at lesson three. If you want to download worksheets and instructions for these and other games to practice the musical alphabet, just go to www.freepianolessonsforkids.com. Thanks a lot. I'm Mr. Hoffman, your piano teacher.